Let's see what the headlines are here in the wake of the attempted assassination of a member of Congress and the uh, murder of five other people, including a nine-year-old girl who uh, ironically was born on 9-11. In fact, I wonder, I, I was wondering out loud uh, to Louise yesterday, is it possible, you know, 9-11 was the beginning of this kind of frantic period of hate and fear. Could this be the end? The, the lifetime of Christina Green. But uh, just, you know, if you go over to world.daily, WND.com, the, you know, one of the main conservative websites, here are the headlines to tell you what's going on, what's actually going on. Bill Ayers, communist, provided Arizona shooters curriculum. High school part of learning community funded jointly by Obama and domestic terrorists. That's the uh, number two headline. Number one is, did Gifford subscribe to Assassin's YouTube? Uh, number three, look who else put a bullseye on Gifford's. Leftist blog points finger at Palin while scrubbing dead to me rant. Number four, Assassin's politics lean quite left, quite liberal. Communist manifesto Mein Kampf, listed as alleged gunman favorite read. The fourth and fourth number number four headline here at World Net Daily, uh, media covering up alleged shooters' liberal politics. Reporters point to Palin, but leave gunmen's leftist leanings alone. And then they go on, uh, Ober Oberman, I apologize for possibly inciting violence. Democrats' bill, ban threatening talk. So if you were to look at World Net Daily, you would assume that this guy was some sort of raving lefty. You look over at Drudge Report, which is bas you know, basically the... Uh, the, uh, the, the, you know, all the producers of, I mean, mainstream news check Drudge every day. The number two headline at the very top of the page, described by, left, by classmate as left-wing pothead. The main headline, scary freak. And then underneath that, Obama flashback. If they bring a knife to a fight, we bring a gun. Right. And in fact, yesterday, CNN had uh, Neil Bortz on. Neil Bortz is a talk show host. I used to listen to him when I lived in Atlanta. He used to be a local Atlanta guy on WSB, as I recall. And uh, actually, it might have been a different station. And now he's nationally syndicated, uh, in fact, by the same network that I am. And uh, But he's far to the right. And what I found interesting was that somebody apparently has gone through years of Barack Obama's speeches and statements and come up with this list. When they when when the reporter was trying to engage a right wing talk show host in a rational discussion about could it be that the rhetoric in talk radio has gotten too heated, here's what Neil Bortz had to say to him. Okay. Uh do you remember who uttered these words? Republican victory would mean hand to hand combat. They bring a knife, we bring a gun. Hit back twice as hard. Punish your enemies. I'm itching for a fight. I don't want to quell anger. I think people are right to be angry. I'm angry. Don, do you know who said all of those things? No, I don't. The president of our country, Barack Obama. There you go. So that, I guarantee you right now, that is the talking point that is being played out on right-wing talk radio all across this country. And, and it's what you find on all the right-wing websites. It's the liberals who did it. Now, you know, I, I, I'm assuming if you're listening to this program and that you've paid enough attention to the news to realize that this guy was, uh, let's say at the very least, I, I actually watched the YouTube videos that he put up where he was doing A equals B, B equals C kind of logic. And it certainly seems to me that this guy was schizophrenic paranoid schizophrenic, um, that he was mentally ill. But that just makes some people more vulnerable, I mean, to conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories are the domain of these things. So when they hear the kind of rhetoric that is broadcast daily on hundreds of stations, Michael Savage on over 300 stations in the country, here's what he has to say about... Uh, you know, uh, for example, Muslims. It's a bloodthirsty religion as practiced over there by a bunch of throwbacks and where to kill them. Uh, Eric Erickson, he's on a couple hundred radio stations. Uh, for, actually, he was on CNN. This is CNN. He's a nationwide television uh, talking about uh, those communist census workers. This is crazy. I, I, I'm not filling out this forum. I dare him to try to come throw me in jail. 
pull out my wife's shotgun and see how that little ACS twerp likes being scared of the door. They're not coming on my property. Uh, Glenn Beck. Now, you know, imagine a paranoid schizophrenic listening to this kind of stuff. I'm thinking about killing Michael Moore, and I'm wondering if I could kill him myself or if I would need to hire somebody to do it. I think I could. I think he could be looking me in the eye, you know, and I could just be choking the life out. Yeah. Here's Glenn Beck on airport security. I would rather go with um, uh, Penn Jillette's idea of airport security. Let everybody carry a gun. Carry a gun. You got a license to carry a gun? Carry it on the plane. Right. Talk show host Mark Levin. He's on hundreds of stations coast to coast on the on the really big, powerful, 50,000 watt, you know, booming stations. I gets a call from a woman who's uh, talking about her husband and uh, how he's uh, a liberal. And what? how does she talk to him? What does she say to him? Are you a married woman? Yes or no? Yeah. Well, I don't know why your husband doesn't put a gun to his temple. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Uh, Sarah Palin, of course, her iconic statement. Don't retreat, reload. Mm, yeah. And uh, to that, well, and uh, we'll come back to that. Here's Michelle Bachman. Thomas Jefferson said, a revolution every now and then is a good thing. We are at the point of revolution. And Michelle Bachman in Washington, D.C., about Washington, D.C., about government. Really, now in Washington, I'm a foreign correspondent on enemy lines. I want people in Minnesota armed and dangerous. And here's here's a co- member of Congress, Republican Michael McCall. We're continuing that revolution right here in Austin, Texas today. Yeah. Thomas Jefferson once said that the tree of liberty will be fed with the blood of tyrants and patriots. You are the modern day patriots. Which is a little weird because does that mean it's your blood? But in any case, he, he got the, he got him going. Here's a congressman from California, Wally Herger, the Republican. And I want to say that I'm a proud right-wing terrorist. And, you know, as Sarah Palin was really ramping this stuff up during the presidential campaign, John McCain actually tried to walk it back. To say that there's a targeted district or that we reload or go back into the fight again, uh, please. That was a a moment of rationality. But uh, then uh, Mike Vanderbo. There are rifles being cleaned right now. Do you folks understand? What? Cleaned? There are rifles being taken out of the closet and cleaned. Right. So in the midst of this, here's here's something I found particularly interesting. Uh, This, the ObamaLondon.blogspot.com is, uh, you know, a website of Obama supporters out of the U.K., Barack Obama supporters in the UK, and they were watching Sarah Palin's website last night, or her uh, her Facebook page, and people can post things, and she can delete them. And so at 719, somebody posted, you are responsible, you evil witch. It was deleted two minutes later at 1721. Uh, somebody else posted, guns and nutters don't mix. That was removed a minute later, 1726. Someone said, somebody posted, I can't believe you have the leadership of intelligence to tell your people that putting crosshairs on people incites violence. That was at 1727. It was removed at 1728, 17528. Another one says hypocrite. It was posted at 1728. It was removed at 1729. And it goes on and on like this, you know, uh, through a whole long list. And then somebody posts, it's okay. Christina Taylor Green was probably going to end up a left-wing bleeding heart liberal anyway. Hey, as they say, what would you do if you had a chance to kill Hitler as a kid? Exactly. And that one didn't get deleted for quite some time. Although there were other other references to it. I mean, it's really bizarre world. For audio and video archives, go to TomHartman.com.